Oh god guys, we're passing a Whataburger. Uh, look at that. Mm. Welcome back guys, it's Jay with another trucking vlog. We're here in Joplin. That blue truck right there threw me off so hard. My truck number is 70368. That truck's number was 70386. So I was like, oh my gosh, what's going on? But this is the Joplin terminal, guys. Um, I'm just going to kind of show you real quick. Also want to say, uh, please leave a like and hit that subscribe button as it does help my channel grow a ton. Um, and you guys have just been killing it. And we are back to our daily uploads till we have another 34 hour reset. But the Joplin yard isn't anything too spectacular. Um, it's kind of uh, just, you know, we got all these people hanging out over here. Um, it's raining right now because we're in Joplin. Um, I don't know if I can show you guys this, but this true to the troops skin on this new 2023 Kenworth T680 is so bad to the bone. Let me, I can go like this. Let's do this. I'll show you guys. Check this thing out. This thing is sick. I don't know if somebody has this or if this is just like a trainer truck. The thing is sick, dude. That thing is bad to the bone. Literally so cool. Um, but we are going, ah, I hope my camera's not foggy yet. It was pretty cold in here last night. We're gonna weigh our truck even though we're empty. I'm just so curious as to like how much a trailer weighs empty and I just never weighed um, an empty trailer and truck because I'm just so curious on to how much of a difference they make empty or loaded. I gotta fix this mirror though. All right, let me get stopped here. Should be on it right there. So 10,100, 10,200. We gotta put these right in between right there. 12,000. And then we gotta put our trailer uh, tandems on the pad. Like there. 10,500, wow. I was actually expecting it to be closer to like 20,000 empty, but uh, we're not gonna go through the wash bay. Every time we get into Joplin, it rains, so we can't even get a wash in like we want. But we gotta go down to Oklahoma City to pick up a load, uh, and then we're going down to San Antonio, the Alamo City. The Alamo City, guys. I'm, I actually uh, had the opportunity to go to uh, San Antonio with my grandparents. I want to say I was about 17 um, and I didn't want to go because it was obviously during the summer and I was like having so much fun doing these ride-alongs in the town I grew up in that I thought uh, doing a ride-along would be more fun than going to San Antonio so I was like no nah, I'm gonna stay home but I do wish I would have went because San Antonio uh, would have been a time you know of my life you know I don't regret not going other than the fact that there's family memories that could have been uh, uh, built but I have a lot of memories with my family and I'm grateful for all of them but we got to check in with this guard before we can leave and we got to say something to him so I'm not gonna record that so I just got off the phone with my buddy Derek and the other day we were talking about the mega millions how it reached a billion dollars and he was in Des Plains Illinois and he was like man I should buy one here in Des Plains uh, I think I'm pronouncing that right he's like I should buy one here in Des Plains uh, it's always the small towns that win. And I was like, do it, dude. He didn't buy one. But uh, I was reading this morning when I woke up that someone had won the ticket. And the ticket was sold in Des Plaines, Iowa at a Speedway uh, gas station. And I called him. I was like, dude, you're not going to guess where someone wore the Mega. He's like, where? And I was like, remember that town you told me you were in in Illinois and you wanted to buy a Mega Millions? Yeah, that's the town. And he was like, are you serious? I was like, yeah, dude. And he was like, oh my goodness. But like, you know, that's just one of those weird coincidences that, you know, we're everywhere. We're going through all these towns. We're going through all these cities. You know, we're probably gonna go through a town where someone wins it. And it's just so random that the odds stay the same. It doesn't increase your odds going to different places. You know, you're not, and I'm not trying to be negative, but you're not gonna win the Mega Millions or the Powerball, you know? It, it's just an American dream to win it, but the odds are like, you know, I know it's $2, but it's just like, 
it's not worth it. All right, guys, we decided to stop at this uh, truck stop underpass kind of thing uh, on Interstate 64 going through Oklahoma. It's a come and go that has like an underpass. I don't think you guys can see it, uh, but it's kind of cool. There was a McDonald's in there and I've been craving McDonald's, so I pulled off and stopped there. Um, and there was a really long line. We probably waited for like 20 minutes for our food, but it hit the spot, it was really good. We got about another two and a half hours so we make it to the ship, we're gonna be there about 3.30. Maybe they took longer. So I'm pretty sure I was supposed to be there at 2.22 and I'm an hour behind. So I think maybe I was in there for an hour. I don't know, I, I lost track of time. This uh, Charger come, or Challenger coming up on us is pretty cool. We got like a Captain America skin. Avengers. It's kind of cool. But yeah, I got two and a half hours left till I make it. Well, when I checked in with dispatch last night, they told me it was a drop and hook. And I get here and it turns out it's not. And he said all these trucks over here are waiting. So we're probably gonna be here for like another 10 hours or something. So yeah, it's just great. That's that's exactly what I came here for was to sit here for 10 hours and get some more detention pay. Yeah, I love it. It's like my favorite thing. It looks like all these backs are blind sides, so I'm gonna have to find somewhere to either turn around or I'm not parking here. I don't, where am I at right now? Hopefully we can find somewhere over here. I'll probably have to go down and find somewhere to turn around if it's possible, because I, I'm not gonna try to make a blind side back. But let's see what we can do. There actually might be enough room. No, I spoke too soon. There's not enough room there to straight back. It looks like there's enough room to go down and make a U-turn, be my guess. I don't think I really went wide enough here. That looks like I kind of did. So we're gonna go down, hopefully that bobtail doesn't take it but we should be able to straight back it if we can get turned the other way and then we're just gonna have to sit here and wait and I got 5g but my hotspot ain't crap because I ran out of service so I can't even play any video games on the internet sorry for the beeping I don't have my seatbelt on that's why it's beeping let me throw it on so it doesn't beep because we need to get there before that other guy comes down here because I'm sure but apparently our appointment was at noon, but when I asked dispatch last night, he said it was already loaded, so it didn't matter. Oh man, this is gonna be tight. Cleared that too. Please do not take that spot, dude. He's a day cab, so I don't think he's gonna... I hope not, dude. Please do not, I swear to God. I think he is. No. All right, well, we're gonna take it. So we need to come up. And then now we need to... Set up right there, boys. be sitting here for like eight hours we're gonna we're gonna go off duty go into sleep or birth and see how long we're here for it's probably gonna be quite a while to be honest so it took two hours exactly to get uh, loaded so we can't get detention or we can't get detention pay it's got they get the two hours for free but anything over two hours they got to pay for and they took like two hours on the dot it's like two hours and ten minutes and I'm not gonna I don't even I think they only pay an hour increment so I'm not even gonna try to fight it um, but we're pretty light, I think. Um, 
I'm gonna say like the load maybe is like 25,000 pounds. We're still gonna go scale it just to be on the safe side. Uh, but we should be all right. <laughs> <laughs> I still got a little cough. Uh, my throat doesn't hurt anymore, so that's good. Just uh, really backing up sinuses right now. Um, but we're gonna stop in Waco for the night at the Pilot, uh, the one we stopped at a couple weeks back. Um, looks like it's a decent Pilot, or it is a decent Pilot. It's not great. Um, they have a Wendy's, but I assume by the time I get there, they're gonna be closed, which sucks. Um, but I got some tuna and some rice that I might try to eat. We'll see. Uh, but this place kind of sucked. I had to disconnect from the trailer after I backed it into the dock and then I had to go check in. But it looks like we are going to have enough time to get down to Waco. It's going to take about 5 hours and 20 minutes and we got 7 hours and 16 minutes. Um, hopefully they can get us a load tomorrow to get us out of that area. Uh, but we'll see. It's a Sunday. Not a lot of freight moves on Saturday or Sunday. So when you go into the weekend you just kind of hope that you have a long load. But we're gonna go get checked in, get our bills, and get the heck out of here. We got about 12 miles till we're gonna get some fuel. Uh, we're down just below a half a tank, but uh, I think Derek and I are gonna try to team drive. Uh, we've been talking about it a lot, and uh, there's a good opportunity here. I'm going home August 13th, uh, and I'll be back like August 18th, and he's going home in September. So we're thinking we both just. Uh, go he's got a 2023 so i would get a new truck but then uh we go out from august 18th till september 20th and if their pay is what we've been thinking it's going to be then we'll continue to team drive if they can't pay us what we thought it was going to be then we'll go back to solo um and you know just i mean we're we get we get along good um but it'd have to be like every month and a half i go home every and he said he wants to go home every three months so I'd probably be like every two months I go home, every three months he goes home and just kind of alternate that. I don't know, we need to figure it out that way like, cause he lives in Texas and I live in Iowa. So we need to figure it out how they don't line up at any point down the road. And therefore we can like, you know, so like when he goes on home time, I remain in the truck and do some short routes. And then when I go on home time, he stays, you know, wherever and does some more routes on his own. So we need to work that out, uh, but I think I'm gonna start team driving August 18th. And I'll have a new truck, a 2023, so that'd be pretty sweet. Stopped and went into that Loves. Uh, got fuel, it was about $500 in fuel for a half a tank. Um, and then we went in and tried to order Burger King and they were out of mayonnaise, bacon, cheese, uh, Whopper, buns, like everything. Uh, onion rings, like I was like, dude. And then they only had buffalo, marinara, and zesty sauce. And I was like, come on, dude. I came in here just to get a Whopper, nothing else. And I can't even get a Whopper. So I had to get a double cheeseburger. And it tasted like the pickles on that thing weren't even like the regular pickles. And I didn't taste any mustard. So I'm guessing all they have is ketchup. I guess they don't even have mustard. So, and then I got back in my truck. And there was this truck blocking the way. that So I couldn't get out of the exit. So then I had to like drive around because I already knew the guy behind me had been waiting forever for me to get out of his way so he could pull forward. So I drove around and then I had to wait on this Dollar General truck to back in and he couldn't get it figured out. So then he pulled out and there was another truck ahead of me and then that guy uh, backed it in first try and then the Dollar General found a different spot, tried backing it in there and couldn't get it. And I was like, oh my God. So I just drove around the Dollar General. I wasn't gonna wait for him anymore. And then I get back and the guy's still blocking the freaking exit. So then I had to get out and go tell him to move because there's no reason for him to be parked there. He's like, I'm taking my 30. I'm like, you should have parked somewhere else to take your 30. There's plenty of spots here. So then he moved on and all this crap. And then I finally got out of there, but it took me half an hour when I, I don't know, it took me like 50 minutes, dude. Oh my goodness, I'm wasting so much time. This is ridiculous, but we got another three hours and 45 minutes till we get to Waco. Oh God, guys, we're passing a Whataburger. Uh, Look at that. Mm. Uh, actually though, we did not have uh, Burger King for dinner. Uh, you guys have been telling me I need to eat healthier. Um, so I decided that it was probably a good idea for me to grab my pocket knife and uh, get out my truck. So I went to the back of the truck and there was some like trash. So I tried to find like the area that had the least amount of trash or like dog doo doo and whatever. It didn't smell like pee. And then I just cut some of the grass and uh, I like took it back to my truck and uh, I had some like mustard packets 
And I know like mustard's like really low in like calories, but it has some sodium. But I just gonna eat grass itself. Um, so I had to put some mustard on it. Uh, let me know what you guys think, if that's good for my diet. Um, if not, like give me some other ideas because I'm really trying to eat healthy. I'm trying to change my lifestyle. I don't want to be one of those fat truck, one of those fat truckers um, that you see. Hey, that's the guy that was blocking the parking. He's passing me finally, but that was ridiculous. Um, but yeah, just leave a comment. Yeah, like just let me know what you think I should eat. Um, like I know chicken's healthy, especially like Chester's fried chicken. But yeah, just let me know in the comments, guys. All right, guys, it's 11:40 at night. We finally made it to the pilot. Hopefully we can find some parking here. Um, if not, we might have to find some reserved if they're still reserved here. Let's see. It says there's supposed to be some parking here. But if not, I think we can probably get reserved. I hope. Because if there's no reserve, that means there's no regular parking left. Yeah, there's eight reserve spots. Uh, last time I was here, there was like a plenty of parking. Um, I paid for reserve last time I was here and I didn't even have to worry about it. Come on. Why isn't this light turned yellow? We've been here for like five minutes. Um, so hopefully we can find, there we go. I just needed to pull up a little bit. So we finally made it here. Um, we're gonna see if we can find some parking. I don't think I can go right here. I need to go straight. I think I've been here more than once. Hopefully I can make it through this light. Made it through the light. Um, now we gotta find out where we need a truck entry right here. So then we need to find a good parking spot. Uh, I think it's, is it right here? No, it's down right here. Okay, it's a good thing I didn't turn in there because then I would have been like, damn. Um, so I'm gonna turn in this way. Um, I don't think we're gonna get as lucky as we did last time. There was like a pull through last time we were here. Um, I don't think we're gonna get that lucky, but we're gonna go see what we can find. Uh, there's always a lot of spots here. Spots here. Uh, yeah, definitely not a pull through and Wendy's is closed should be they're supposed to close at 11 last time i was here they closed at 11. um yeah we're just gonna have to go down and around and see if we can find anywhere i don't even know where reserved is here because like i said i paid for reserve for that one night and it turns out that i didn't even park in reserved because i had no idea where it is um i don't know if this guy's gonna like try to park down here by this other guy um but we're gonna just kind of drive around and see what we can find kind of looks like it's packed is this reserved right here i don't know what these are there's like no signs to say reserved. Are you gonna park? <coughs> I mean, at the end of the day, we can park over here with these other trucks. I don't know what this guy's doing. Uh, what are we doing? I don't know what you're doing, sir. I'm gonna go. I think you're gonna try to pack in over here. I don't know what the hell this guy's doing. Oops, I'm not supposed to say that word, but I did. All right, let's see if we can find some parking over here. Looks like that truck found some. Is this a spot right here on the other side of this gray truck? Because we can definitely put it in there. And there's a spot there. I don't know if I really want that one, though. I don't really like how that gray truck's sticking out so far. <sighs> do, 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 do. Yeah, I don't really like that. I mean, at the end of the day, I can definitely take it. Oh. Dude, you are really. Oh, no, 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 no. Do not do that. You're about to take out that truck. Yeah, no. You are so close to taking that truck out, man. Yeah, hard left. Nah, I don't like that either, man. You're really close. He's getting it, he's getting her done there. Yeah, I don't really want to park next to that gray truck. I mean, I definitely think I can put it in there. But let's see if we can find something else. Because we don't really need... I mean, we're going to go inside and use the bathroom to go pee. But we're not going to, like, need to walk in a hundred times. So we're just going to go down. And if we have to walk a mile, it's not going to kill us. 
since our diet's unhealthy and we have to eat grass to uh, actually eat healthy, guys. Grass with uh, grass with mustard. That's what we had for dinner, remember? But yeah, let's, uh, I mean, I really could take this spot. I don't, why are we rolling back so much, dude? Oh, come on, dude. I mean, I got, why are we rolling back so much? We're in drive, we should not be rolling back. There we go, now we're going forward. I think we should be good to go now. If not, you just have to wait for me to pass by. Yeah, there's more spots on this back side. There's a spot right there as well. So let me loop around here. See what we can find back here. There's nobody scared of walking here. Nobody. We might even take one on this back row, to be honest with you. I think that's what we're gonna do. I mean, we could take one next to these CFI over here. Because everyone loves parking next to another CFI driver. But I think those do not look very good. Um, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna go up here, make a U-turn, and come back down and park next to one of those CFIs. Cause this is the place for CFIs to be at, boys. It's popping a CFI here tonight. There's that other guy we saw earlier. You're good there, driver. I'm just making a U-turn. Yeah, boy. I noticed that I've been making a lot more U-turns here recently. I've built up a lot of confidence in them. Sorry, MTI. We are gonna get our spot next to see a five. That kind of rhymed, because there's both eyes in there. <laughs> okay, we're not even gonna park next to CFI. We're gonna take this spot on the other side of this KLM right here. Well, maybe not, because that barrier's there. All right, maybe we will park next to CFI. That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna park next to the CFI right here. CFI, but I think there's plenty of room. Oh yeah, there's plenty of room. So we need to go just a little bit. We need to cut a hard right. Except we cut it a little bit too hard right there. All right, straight back. And then just let it carry over a little bit more. I see if I was carrying a little three series right there. And he might be hauling tires because that thing's bowed out. I can't. So we need to be back behind the CFI a little bit. So we got plenty of room.
All right, that's good enough. All right, guys. Like always, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe for future content. It's been Jay, and it's been one great day. See you guys in the morning. Peace. A hook on a plan into waste my time. To my surprise, that was her reply.